the notes will be up here in just a second. All right, on this problem, what we have to do is we have to solve for z. All right, so um, some of us might be able to do this in our head, but I really want you guys to just get practice with using um, our operations and our properties of equality because once we start getting into multi-step um, equations, you're really gonna have to know those steps of uh, equality. So what we're doing is we're saying negative 13 times a number equals negative 39. Now, one thing that we like to do is when we're solving for a variable, we're gonna get that variable by itself, all right? So a couple things, um, some, you know, some kind of tricks you might do to kind of help you out is one thing I could say is, well, if I wanna get the Z by itself, if I kind of circle it, I can kind of think of like pinning the Z against the board. That means I'm not gonna do anything to that Z. I can't move it, I can't touch it. So I circle it, that means it's pinned right there. So now what I gotta do is I gotta undo everything that's happening to the Z. A lot of times we call it the inverse operations. So right now, if you guys look at it, what's happening to the Z? Well, this Z is being multiplied by a negative 13, right? We usually don't write the multiplication sign in there when it's just a number next to a variable. We know multiplication is going on. So this variable is being multiplied by negative 13. So we need to undo that. So how we undo multiplication, the inverse of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide by negative 13. And from our notes, you guys should remember that the properties of equality say whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side of an equation. Right? Some of us sometimes write a line down there to represent the equation. So you can get that on your phone, but you could also get that from looking up here. Right? Good. So on the last problem, now we have negative 13 divided by negative 13. Well, any number divided by itself gives you 1, right? And 1 multiplied by anything is going to give you that variable back again. So I'm going to be left with z because those two, what we like to say sometimes, are cancel out. They cancel out the one, but so we don't need to write it more. Equals, well, negative, 13, negative 39 divided by negative 13 gives you a positive three. Make sure that the negatives, two negatives, the, um, cancel out. Yes, question? I thought to cancel it out, you'd have to, you'd have to add 13 to negative 13. If, if it was, um, you always just gotta think of what's happening to the variable. Here, we're multiplying, right? So to cancel it out, we might want to say, you're going to have to do the opposite, which would be division. But if we are adding 13, then you'd want to subtract 13. Right now, though, the operation that's going on is multiplication. So you're going to want to do the opposite or the inverse, which would be subtract, or which would be division. Okay? I'm going to go over a couple more examples to help you go and see the difference. All right? <laughs> 